The results-driven Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce invites you to connect your business with a thousand other companies just like yours, including education and workforce development, health care, professional services, manufacturing, retail, nonprofit, trades and vocations, hospitality, among many others. And benefit with chamber programs and services such as government affairs, energy and economic development, small business assistance, networking opportunities, women in business programs, young people in business programs, and more. We invite your business to become a starring member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber today and see what a difference this chamber will make for you. Join your community's most trusted, effective, and relevant business network connection today. The Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Bevilacqua. I'm the Vice President of the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. And I'd like to welcome you all to another edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program. I'm here with a very special guest today, one of our newest members of the Merrimack Valley Chamber. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome Jonathan Mandel of Blue Moon Estate Sales. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, first off, thanks for being part of the Cham Merrimack Valley Chamber. Thanks for being part of the show today. And we're going to get right off into it. What is, I know it, it's self-explanatory <laughs> at the end there, but what is Blue Moon Estate Sales? Uh, thanks for asking. I, so what we are is we are the solution to what do I do with everything in my home when I am downsizing, retiring, relocating, or if I inherited the estate of a loved one and I need to do something with all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got so much stuff. Um, and so what we do is we go in and we help you sell everything. Wow, so it's, it's, you know, it's great, especially where you said if you're downsizing, if you're looking to just mm -hmm. clear out some you know, junk, it's not really junk all the time. I know that stuff always adds up. So, uh, and then when a loved one passes away, if you inherit the, you know, the, 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 all those mm -hmm. different things, what do you do with it? You throw it away or do you do something else? And, and you're the something else, you can actually help make that money back for those people. So tell everyone how that process works. Right, no, thanks. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of times people just don't know what to do. Uh, you know, most often what I hear is, oh, I, I wish we knew you existed or I wish I knew this service sure, was yeah. around. Um, because yes, right now, a lot of the options that people follow through with, they go to Craigslist, they go to Facebook Marketplace. Those are really tough experiences to sell one thing, let alone everything. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, they will, you know, try to donate a bunch of stuff. You, right? you got to donate things. Yeah. Well, a lot of the places that accept donations, have so much they, of they have so much yeah. and, and they don't always come out and pick up. Um, and then at the last resort, when you're sold your home and you've got to clear it, that 1-800-GOT-JUNK truck pulls up and stuff goes away and it, it's heartbreaking. People don't like to see that happen. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, so the way we do it, you know, first it starts off with, you know, is this home the right home for an estate sale? Um, I always tell people, call me regardless because even if it's not the right home, I can usually give you the options that will sure. make you feel good yeah. about letting go of all that, all that stuff that you have. Um, if it is the right home, so we go through, we'll walk through with you. Um, what we'll do is we find a date. Usually we like to have a two week lead time um, we will come in that first week. We will take photos of everything. We work oh, hard at yep. some really nice photography. That's what sells the sale. That's what draws people in. We spend that whole next week marketing the sale. Um, believe it or not, there are people who are always looking for items online through estate sale searching websites. Mm -hmm. um, we pay to be premium members on those so oh, people great. see our stuff first. Um, and then the week leading up to the sale, we come in with our team. We have 13 amazing people who have been working for us since, since we started a couple of years ago. Um, we come in with our team. We bring tablecloths and lighting, and we make the home look like a, a small store, um, like a pop-up boutique. Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. And we will go in and we will price everything. So every item there is there, we price it, we research it, we make sure that we're getting the best value we can for what you have. Um, and then that weekend, we hold a two-day sale event. And that runs usually a Saturday, Sunday. Um, we're usually able to, by the end of it, clear out about 80% of what's there. Wow, yeah. um, we usually have good recommendations for what to do with what's left, so you're not just left with throwing it all away. Um, and then about five days later, you'll get your check and a report of everything that's sold and what we sold it for. Yeah, and for the people at home thinking, you know, I could do it myself, well, like you said, think of the time it's going to take to, to get, take a photo, to research it, to list it, to ship it. All that stuff right there, that's for one yeah. item only. Imagine having to do all those items. So you're gonna yes. come in there, you're gonna go in the home, you're gonna take the photos, you're gonna do the research, mm -hmm. you're gonna price it for them, you're gonna sell it for them, and then you're gonna give them a check at the end. Yeah, and, and really, we, we tell people they, all the time, people are like, oh, let me empty out the cabinets, let me get everything out for you. We're like, no, please don't. <laughs> like, you know, my, yeah. our team is, you know, incredible at 
staging. So if you've put a bunch of stuff on a table, I promise you they're going to move it somewhere else. So yep. let us do that work for you. Um, and a lot of times it's just, you know, uncovering a lot of those things that have value that you didn't think yeah. had value. And, and the other great thing is that, you know, uh, some people might say, well, you know, they may inherit a, a, a estate or they may, yeah. they may be looking to just throw out some junk and they might say, we have nothing of value right here. But as you, you and I were talking before the show, some people have bundles of wrapping paper. You sell them for two dollars, and that two dollars adds up, you know, through the number of items you sell, and then you're getting given a big check at the end for for for, for, for what what they what thought what they thought was nothing. So right. it's really a great opportunity to get out there, get the experts in there, have you do the research, have you do the work, mm -hmm. and end up making these people some money. Yeah, couldn't have said it better. I mean, that's you know, again, the the idea that what you have isn't worth anything. You might as well just throw it out. I promise you, if it's in your home, somebody would like it in their home. <laughs> yes. You know, things that are things that are, you know, like the everyday pots and pans and dishes. There's somebody out there who just bought a home or, or their first apartment and they just don't have the money and they and they would love to be able to get a nice set of something that that doesn't cost yeah. a, a lot to them. Um, yes, the wrapping paper, you know, why wouldn't you buy it for a dollar or two dollars, you know, if you're already at the sale? And we were talking a little bit about sports cards, collectibles, things of that nature. That's what'll draw people in, right? Yeah. They're looking for the cool, interesting, and unique. Yeah, Once they're trees. there, they're walking around shopping and they're saying, wow, that's a great stand mixer yeah. for you know, 50 bucks. Why wouldn't I buy that? Yeah, and, yeah. and so I think that you always have this misconception of what has value to somebody else. Um, similarly, people on the other side of it overvalue certain things. Well, this was in our family for a hundred years, <laughs> yeah. and you know we we this know is rare that on it. yeah we know that this is unique and rare, and and having to be able to tell people, well, look, glad it's provided you a, a lifetime of joy, but in today's market, he, here's really what the value is. And again, we're we're just trying to help by educating and making sure that people that people really understand kind of what they have. The other thing too is you know someone might inherit something and they say, well, we'll do a yard sale. But the thing is, mm -hmm. the thing I think really that really separates you is the following that you're able to bring in. You're not just going to bring a couple of people in. You have a whole following that's following you from estate to estate, from sale to sale. Yeah. So I think that helps separate and is a big difference difference maker in, in your sales compared to anything else. Yes, no, that's true. And and you know we have our own mailing list that people sign up for. We've got thousands of people on that. We we like I said, we advertise on all of these other um, you know national national uh, sites that have followings, and so we do bring a lot of people in. But most importantly, people like coming to our sales. We're told over and over again that they, customers who shop multiple estate sales, they have choices of where they mm -hmm. go each weekend. They wanna make sure they hit ours, and why? We have a great staff that is always welcoming. The pricing is clear, so they're not haggling over every little yeah. item. And we control the flow of the people in the house. A lot of our clients are worried, oh, are you going to have a bunch of people in you know, tearing through Jumping things and ruining my house? Yeah. No, we, we let you know 10 to 15 people in at a time. It makes for a better experience for the shoppers, sure. much better for us and our employees. And at the end of the day, it, it's just better for everyone all around. And that's why people like coming to shop our sales. Now, I know uh, you had mentioned before, you, both you and your wife are the co-owners of this Blue Moon Estate Sales. Um, uh, what may, I know you're both in corporate before you started here. What made you start uh, a Blue Moon Estate Sales? Yeah, so you know, both of us, you know, spent our lives in corporate world. Um, I, I think that one of the things that that we realized in our jobs day to day, um, we worked for companies that service small businesses, so software companies, mm -hmm. and so we were out in the field a lot. Each of us in our own companies, visiting with small businesses, and her dad had his own small business. My dad had his. And so we just kind of lived in this small business world while still working for these big corporate sure, yeah. companies. And I would tell you, like, even hearing all of the pain and difficulty it is to run a small business, we would at the end of it say, you know, why do you still do it? And, and, a, and, a, and a, uh, a small business owner would say, I could never imagine going back. I could never imagine working for someone else because everything I'm doing, I'm putting in. I'm the one who's getting it out, right? Sure. I'm not having somebody telling me how to do things. Yeah, you're right. I get to decide. You're right. It's a lot of hard, you know, we, the Merrimack Valley Chamber, we have a lot of small businesses yeah. in, the, in our chamber, and it, the, the work they put in is like unlike anything else, but the, you know, the, the reward is so much more. And, uh, you know, that's yeah. some, one thing we're always proud of with our small business community is how hard they work each mm -hmm. and every day, not just, you know, Monday through Friday, but seven days a week, which really makes a difference. Yeah, and the community aspect too, right? Like, you know, getting, having the ability to, to service 
our local community. So yeah, we service you know up from southern New Hampshire all the way down to you know Newton and Wellesley in those areas. We go west out to around Acton or Concord, and then we go east to the water. So we really get to cover our area, and these are places that you know we've lived and raised our children. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in Peabody, so I I'm, I'm from the area. Yeah. So it's really Throw great. Backyard, then. I've I've actually helped you know friends of mine and 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 my friends' parents you know help yeah. help them find new homes for their belongings. Um, and so it is a huge reward at the end of the day to kind of be in the community. Sure, and you mentioned the community. What areas do you service? You know, what what what, are, what is your primary focus on the Merrimack Valley? Yeah, so so again, so we, you know, we are from, we live in North Andover, um, but you know, we will, you know, we will basically go where the where the work is, sure. you know, where it makes sense to go. Um, you know, Southern New Hampshire is, is all the way, you know, kind of coming down to Burlington, all the way down to Newton or Wellesley if we need to. Um, out west we go to Acton, Boxborough, wow. we've been there. So you have a and then Gloucester and yeah. you know, out in the water areas. Wow. Um, we don't go out to the Cape yet. It's yeah. a little bit hard to get our team out there. Uh, you know, part of it is too making it a, a, a good experience for the team, <laughs> right? So, you know, not having them on the road for two hours to yeah. a job. Uh, but there's plenty of work to be had around here. Uh, again, my, my biggest competition, what I've told people, it isn't the other estate sale companies. There's some great other estate sale companies out there. Our biggest competition is just ignorance. People just don't know this service exists. Yeah. No, I think that's the key is letting people know the, the service you have to offer. And then once they find out, and like you said, your, your, employee, your 13 employees, which is amazing. And most of them have been, the, been there since day one, which is even more amazing. Yeah. So you're doing something right right there. Uh, John, really quick, tell everyone at home how they can learn more about uh, Blue Moon Estate Sales, how they can contact you as well. Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, first and foremost, Always going to answer the phone. Um, you know, I, I really make it a priority. So you can give me a call, 978-852-5492. Um, that, that's our business line. I'll be picking that up. Um, and then our website at www.bluemoonestatesales.com. That's where you'll go to basically, if you have a request for an estate sale, you get to kind of see sales that we have going on now. You also will get to kind of see our process. I think it's hard to imagine what one looks like. Oh yeah. Um, we have a great kind of 3D video of cool. you know kind of what a house looks like when it's yep. staged and set up. And anyone can take a, take advantage of that. It's not limited to anybody. Uh, yes, no, exactly. And and I would say a plug for the other side of the business, which is shoppers. So if you've been making New Year's resolutions, come shop an estate sale. I, I'll tell you. It is a great experience. You you really do find these interesting things, things from your childhood, sure, you yeah. know, collectibles and whatnot. It really is a, a great way to also support the people in your community. Yeah, no, it sounds great. And uh, you know, as we start to cl close up the show, yeah. I just want you to tell everyone at home why they should choose Blue Moon Estate Sales, why they should contact you for more information. Sure, I, I think, you know, we, we have in our two years and you know, we, we have provided a great service to 35 plus people now. Um, you can go see us on Google in our reviews. We are very professional, we care, our team cares. You know, we run a great event and we draw a lot of people to it. And at the end of the day, the successes and the amount of items that we've been able to find new homes for and put money in your pocket. Best of both worlds then, so. I think so. Well, Jonathan, I just want to say thank you again for being part of the show. Thank you for being a member of the Merrimack Valley Chambers of Commerce as well. We appreciate the support, and uh, thanks for all you do for the community. No, oh, thanks so much for the opportunity, Mike. Real quick, just tell them, uh, the audience one more time how they can contact you with those content information. Uh, absolutely. So, yes, at bluemoonestatesales.com, um, and just give me a call, 978-852-5492. Perfect. Thank you again for being part of the show. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you all for being part of the show as well. We appreciate you joining us for another edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you.